on the one hand, it is surprising that booster efficacy would wane so quickly against getting COVID-19 when it comes to symptomatic disease, looking back at some of the original trials that showed just how good these vaccines were at preventing symptomatic infection. However, we need to remember that the new variants that are circulating, Delta and more recently Omicron, are slightly different viruses on the outside. People who are in healthcare are at higher risk of getting exposed to people who are sick with COVID-19 and are also at increased risk of transmitting the virus to vulnerable patient populations. The question of whether they will need a fourth dose and how soon remains a little bit of an open question, but we seem to be heading that way as more variants are arriving that seem to outwit our vaccine strategy a little bit, Omicron being the latest example. However, when we have taken a close look at severe COVID-19, COVID-19 that's bad enough that it puts people in the hospital or kills people, we're seeing still good protection from fully vaccinated people and from boosters, including against Delta and the Omicron variant. So, Vaccines, even the ones developed against the original spike protein of SARS-CoV-2, are doing a tremendous amount of heavy lifting, keeping people out of the hospital and keeping people alive with COVID-19. We need vaccines to do a little bit more. We need them to be protecting against even mildly symptomatic disease that will protect against long complications of COVID, like long COVID, but will also interrupt the cycle of transmission, which ultimately is needed to end the pandemic. And that's where either fourth doses or even first doses with vaccines that are specifically targeting variants like Omicron may be really, really important. So we may see strain-specific vaccines that could be viewed as a booster, a strain-specific booster, on top of getting vaccinated with the vaccines that were designed against the original SARS-CoV-2.